Hi, I'm Regis James of the Chad Shaw Computational Genomics Lab at Baylor College of Medicine here in Houston, Texas. I'm the creator of OMIM Explorer, an integrative web tool for clinical diagnostics, variant prioritization, and gene phenotype association discovery. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to get started with our software. Feel free to pause and replay parts of the video as needed. For your convenience, I've time-coded the video so that you can quickly jump to whichever section you might need. You can also use the resources linked below or simply click the Load Kleefstra Example button in the top right corner of the web interface to follow along. Let's begin by navigating to www.omimexplorer.com. The workflow wizard, which is this row of buttons at the top of the page, will guide you through the many features of OMIM Explorer as you work through a case. A typical workflow includes describing the clinical features of a case in a narrative text form, selecting relevant HPO terms that describe the case, and viewing the initial disease differential, which is the list of top diseases sorted by quality of match to the selected terms in decreasing order. The workflow also includes filtering the differential to diseases causally linked to genes variant in the case, using medical judgment to curate this differential with a detail overlaid visual interface, further refining a complex differential through dynamically generated phenotype suggestions, considering novel disease gene discovery candidates through review of highly ranked genes with no known disease association, and saving work to resume later or to share with colleagues. Although the workflow wizard buttons are numbered to reflect a typical workflow, OMIM Explorer does not require you to follow this sequence. Now let's begin a case by clicking the Start button. As you can see, three main panels appear. The workflow wizard at the top, which I've already discussed, the control panel at the left, which houses the settings you'll use to configure your session, and the content panel at the center, which displays the results of your analysis. A fourth panel, located to the right, is only visible when phenotypes are input and is called the Heads Up Phenotype Query Display. Note that there are next and previous arrow buttons here on either side of the Baylor College of Medicine logo. You can progress through the workflow wizard either by using these arrows or by simply clicking directly on the wizard workflow buttons at the top of the screen. The reset button at the bottom of the left side control panel can be used to delete your current work and start a new case. Keep in mind that resetting a session also deletes all of your work and that this cannot be redone. 